Hi, my name is Lucia and I'm a student from here, from this high school, Alto Guadiana. And today I'm going to speak about my experience with an exchange student from Austria that came to my house. Uh, she stayed here for two months and the first couple of days it was a little bit awkward, but as time went by we will just get along with each other and uh, right now we're pretty good friends. We still have contact with each other, we speak through WhatsApp, we sometimes call ourselves and it's pretty fun. The experience was overall pretty perfect. It, we were both pretty happy. I was happy because she was here and she was happy to learn about, well, Spanish culture. And it was so satisfying teaching her about all of the culture here. I hope that I can still go and I think it would be really fun to learn about Austria and all the culture, all the places, what's the school there and it would be a pretty fun experience, also good for my studies. So I really hope I can go, maybe this summer or any time. I would just like to go there and have some fun with her as well. Hi, my name is Juan. I'm taking part of an Erasmus project and I'm studying in Ato Guadiana in Tomeyoso. The last year, in February, I traveled to Italy. Being there, uh, we were in an Italian school for one week. But then, because of the pandemic of COVID, we stayed at home for two weeks. And then we have we had to return to Spain. In general, my experience was very good, and I hope to be in more Erasmus projects. Pasquale and I want to talk about my trip with Rasmus in, in Austria. It started with a very warm welcome from the Austrian students and the Austrian teachers. Cooperative in all the world. To him in Tomelloso. He donated his work in famous in Spain because here we uh... video about Spain. During the second week of December, we went to Austria first in a small town where we discovered many new customs. Here we attended the Austrian school for about five days, making many new experiences like um, treasure hunting or attending lessons with the Austrian guys. We spent a week in Vienna and we made a lot of friends. And uh, so hi to all the Spanish group and to everyone that I meet in Austria or in Italy. And um, yes, leaving your friend is the worst part of this experience, but it was an amazing week that I will never forget. They left us straightforwardly in their school routine and organized really enjoyable activities. The ice breaking activity, the daily news tower competition that consisted in building a tower with daily newspaper. Chase, that's probably the activity that I've liked the most. 
the the ghost chase i think that we were able to get to know each other both the italians and the austrians and the spanish of this trip we went to Vienna um, which is uh, the capital of Austria. Vienna is a, a fantastic city. Here we visited uh, numerous uh, monuments, uh, walked uh, in the most important streets uh, and visited uh, some museums. Uh, it was all very nice and we had a lot of fun. We also had uh, the opportunity to improve our English. I've loved the city. It majestic buildings, it's just the cathedral, cathedral in Stephenplatz or the Rathaus, that's Vienna City Hall, and the beautiful and very characteristic street markets, the museums, I mean everything. I, I liked everything about, about the city, everything, especially the view, the atmosphere after the sunset was wonderful. La <laughs> <laughs> foto al chocolate? and I'm going to talk about why we decided to enter in Erasmus. We decided to enter in Erasmus because it was a great opportunity to travel, make new friends, improve our English and know new cultures. I'm Clara and I'm going to talk about the expectation we had of the trip. Our expectations were high as the people who went to Austria told us they had a great time, but we didn't expect it to be one of the best weeks of our lives. My expectations for the Erasmus were very high because it was the first time that I was going to go out from Spain and also because I was going to meet other people that doesn't that don't talk Spanish. 
So I was very nervous, but also very excited. And I think that the trip uh, achieved my expectations. Our impressions in the first days uh, were so good, to be honest. Uh, when we met them, we found them uh, very nice and uh, friendly. Uh, uh, we like the high school a lot. And the town uh, was very nice and beauty. The hotel was very cozy and to be short, uh, we really liked everything we met when we arrived. Hello, my name is Paloma Redondo and I'm going to talk about our experience during the week that we spent in Italy. The first day, the day that we arrived, they received us with a smile on their faces. At first we were so shy, but they made us to feel comfortable with them. Uh, also, they were so funny and they show us different places that we went all together to have um, a great time and that made our experience to be the best. <laughs> Hi, my name is Maria and I'm going to talk about how did we feel when we left Italy. We felt very sad uh, because we could have spent more time with them, but at the same time very happy because we create a very strong bond and how much fun uh, we had with them. The last day was a very bittersweet day uh, for everyone. We cried a lot, but we also enjoyed the last moment uh, with them. We are missing them so much. <music> Hi, I'm Elena and I'm going to talk about what things we have learned and we have acquired from the Erasmus project. First, in our opinion, we have grown socially and educationally. Also, we have made new friends and we have learned new cultures, so we have acquired language and culture. Also, we knew some Italian words and we have advanced in English too because we were Ex we were speaking English all the week. We came to Spain with a lot of good memories. We want to return to Yoya del Coy. Bye! So, what do you
this week is the Erasmus project because uh, we met. Mm -hmm. So, was everything? But also, we have the opportunity. You must be sure that the lines of the two trainers are aligned. And then one triangle in brass is the other one. ¿Nadie quiere documentar nada? ¿Quiere decir algo, Javier? Te veo con ganas. Hola, muy bien. ¿Qué tal está haciendo tu día? Muy buen día. ¿Estás comiendo un helado? No. Erasmus es una poderosa experiencia. It can change completely your life. Sí, 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 vaya. Going abroad is a huge boost from your mind, from your spirit and from for your self-confidence. So enjoy your Erasmus and take the best from all of this. Bye! <laughs> That's what Erasmus is all about, sharing experiences with foreign people and trying to enter another culture different from yours, using every second of your week abroad to, to do so, to simulate the best of the people and the places you visit, even if you only have five days to do so. I think it helps to grow personally and culturally because you face different challenges, different linguistic challenges, of course, uh, personal challenges because you, you face people that have not the same habits of yours. So you have to find a uh, compromise and you have to find to, to meet in the middle so that you can share and you have the, the opportunity to learn from each other. Thank you.
in our opinion, we have grown socially and educationally. Also, we have made new friends and we have learned new cultures, so we have acquired language and culture. It will be one of the best weeks of our lives. Uh, protection from heat. And, uh, one is. Uh, I think that the trip uh, achieved my expectations.